dum dee dum dee dum I'm just a random person on the internet, just walking around, doing whatever. Hey! What? Suck my dick! What, why am I floating towards you? Why can't I stop? I am much better than everyone and you! Suck my fucking stop. dick! I'm better! Give me an award! Yeah, yeah, you're doing a good job sucking my ego and cock. Hey! Is that a panda? Oh, shit! Your time is up, Reddit. I cannot tolerate your bullshit anymore. Stop Fuck. acting better than other people when you are a complete degenerate yourself. Should I try to respond to him reasonably or say something irritating that I've said before a hundred times? Haha, <laughs> I got it. Ahem. No, you! What? No, Why you! Why are you guys laughing? No, no you! Laughing. You've heard the joke before! Hey guys, I have a funny joke. So a Redditor walks into a bar. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. We all know Redditors can't socialize. Ah. It was a good joke. Not, Not that a Redditor would, would know, know because all they do is say the same thing over and over again. But we'll get into that more. Now, I'm sure a lot of you right now may be asking yourself. Is this content cop? Is this content cop? Is this content cop? And no, this is nothing like content cop. Fuck you. Can I not make a series? Oh yeah, this series is called Social Critic. It's basically content cop but for social media and the people on them. So no, it's nothing like it. You know, the reason I'm making this series in the first place was because of Reddit. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time because if you've watched any of my videos, you know how many times I reference how shitty Reddit and Redditors are, and there's a good reason for that, and I'm gonna go over that in today's video. So grab your overused template memes and updutes, because we're going on an adventure today, an adventure I've been wanting to do for the longest fucking time. So let's begin. Let me just say the basic start off thing so I don't get my ass fucked in the comments by the four Redditors who think they know more than everyone else, because that's basically every Redditor. Yes, I'm not talking about every single Redditor on planet Earth. I'm saying majority of them. Not a vocal minority. This isn't one of those examples. Redditors are a case of a vast majority of people that act this certain way. That certain way. I'm gonna get into in just a few moments, but I want to specify directly now. See, the concept of Reddit's actually pretty cool, and some of the subreddits are actually pretty cool. It's the Redditors themselves that are not cool at all. So the idea of Reddit, yeah. The frequent users of this website, no, no. I remember earlier in the video how I said there's gonna be a Redditor in the comments typing up a whole fucking thesis trying to fucking own me on how not every single Redditor is like this. I predicted it pretty well, and that's because all Redditors are egotistical and predictable as shit. Well, let's first go over that keyword, predictability. We are are now going into phase one. Guys, I've been hiding something from you for the longest time, and I think I should just say it now. I have a superpower. I can read minds. Well, actually, no. More specifically, the minds of Redditors. Oh shit, here we see one right now. Let me see what he's thinking. I'm better than everyone. I'm smarter than everyone. I'm way smarter than everyone. Reddit's a superior website to every other one. I'm entitled. I'm probably an edgy teenager. I find the same five jokes funny. Wow, what a beaut. What a complete beaut right there. Seeing the Redditor with the other Redditors. Circle jerking to protect each other. This is their natural self-defense mechanism. They are big sissies. Now something you might have noticed is that, wow, these Redditors all look the same. And that's because they are. They all behave the same. They all find the same stuff enjoyable. They all have the same opinions. They are literally the NPC memes they use to make fun of other people. Just a side note to the opinion thing I just mentioned. They act like the most basic opinions that everyone agrees with is some special unique opinion that no one else has. Like, Oh my god, you think for you think Fortnite's worse than Minecraft? Anti-vax moms are bad? <gasps> what? Innovative hot take. This definitely needed to be said. You Redditors sure are special, you sure are different. Guys, uh, uh, uh I have something controversial to say. Uh, uh, uh rape and murder is bad. How could you say something so controversial yet so brave? Wow! Here's an award! You know, honestly, I didn't expect many people to think the same, but wow! <laughs> now that's a base red-pilled moment. You like that joke you've heard before? I know you Redditors must. Comedy. Redditors seem to think they're the kings of comedy and know every bit about comedy. I mean, they must be if they feel the constant need to be condescending to every other social media on how superior, clever, original, and creative they are. I mean, it's not like all their jokes and memes are practically identical except with a small deviation. Redditors make some of the best, unique, clever jokes on the internet, and they need you to know that. I know some of you guys watching this video must love those Reddit videos where they just read a meme off the screen and call it content. I'm gonna do the same thing. Because let me tell ya, these Reddit memes are 
so original and creative. God, they make me roll off my chair. E-begging, but since it's self-aware, it's worth upvoting. A literal fucking opinion, but it's just plastered on a meme template. And it's always a commonly agreed upon opinion. The same 50 template memes. The same 50 screenshots with a quote from a movie or TV show. A screenshot from a social media platform that isn't Reddit. And how could you not forget the trendy meme that'll die in a week? For Redditors, this is like free karma. When there's a trendy meme, it's basically, why the chicken cross the road? Trendy meme. Although now that I think of it, every one of these posts are just free karma because you don't have to try and it'll get upvotes easily. Now, I'm not saying a joke has to be well thought out or creative to be funny, and I'm not calling any of these things unfunny either. It's just this is the entirety of Reddit humor. I think the funniest part is some of you guys make self-aware memes where you know and acknowledge how unoriginal and boring you guys are. The funny part is when someone actually calls you out for it, you guys either act like we're gatekeeping comedy or like we're the messiahs of humor and speak on everyone's behalf on what's funny or not. No, it's just an opinion. We're just calling you out for this repetitive shit that we can't avoid online. Although there is a good handful of people that call every single thing imaginable unfunny because they they just want to appear superior to everyone. But most people, when they call out a Redditor for being unfunny, it's because they're allergic. They're sick to the idea of an original joke or concept. I'm talking about most popular comedic subreddits or just subreddits in general. I find that smaller ones tend to be better because they're not just milked the fuck out of for karma. Redditors are like robots that can only read the same five lines of code and the only way they can find validation through life is through these orange arrows. I want to reiterate again and say that you can make these jokes. I'm not calling them all unfunny, but my point is these are the only jokes you cretins can seem to make. So don't act like you're the god of comedy when all your jokes are the same and don't get upset when people call you out for it either redditors after this video are gonna make template memes about me objectifying their lazy repetitive comedy i feel personally attacked oh my god this means he's a country and hipster let people enjoy things stop criticizing us silence silence time to let out my anger frustration template meme time that face when a panda objectifies your comedy it's not my point but you know what i can't wait to see it happen anyways you could also argue that the entire internet is like this, and while it is, Reddit by far is the worst offender. So when you guys make shit like this, just know you're doing nothing different from anyone else, except having a ginormous ego. And we haven't even gone over the comments of Reddit, you know, like, the same shit everybody says to each other that they still find funny. Like, people love to say these on Reddit. Remember the starter pack images I was talking about? I love this one. Ah, but those are the older neckbeard Reddit users. You're a 14-year-old. Instead, you say epic gamer, PewDiePie, ironic doge Karen. No, you guys aren't like these people at all. Mm -mm. No, I'm not trying to sound like a know-it-all myself, believe me, but this is just some tips I want to give to some Redditors. Don't get all defensive when people call you out for making the same repetitive jokes. And please, please, for the love of God, do not act like Reddit's the birth site of comedy. Please don't. God. <laughs> but a panda, you're wrong because we make original memes. <laughs> So wrong. Keep watching the video. I'm sure you'll be very delighted to hear what I'm gonna say later. Here we see some wild redditors in the wild. Oh, look at them say an original joke. Wow. Now that's a beaut. <coughs> Phase three. Once upon a time, there were actually comedy subreddits that I enjoyed because the more people know about a joke and repeat it enough, that's when people start to not like it. Hence why nobody likes Harambe. But no, I'm a hipster for saying this, right? I mean, it's not like Trollface survived for so long because it was an inside joke on the internet at a time when less people use the internet than they do now. If a punchline of a joke is repeated enough, which is basically a meme, people get over it. Now, if you still care about that meme economy virgin bullshit, first of all, why? But you would know memes die really quickly and secretly the main culprits read it because people farm the shit for karma, which in turn kills a joke faster and then redditors love to point the finger at someone else as if they didn't do it i personally don't care if a meme dies anymore because i've kind of grown up and realized jokes on the internet don't matter i have kids to fucking feed subscribe but it's the fact that they have to point the finger at other people aside from them you gotta love the redditor mentality if we do something good we'll take credit for it but if we do something bad no redditors cannot no remember how when irony wasn't really used that much online until redditors got a hold of it milked it for karma and then pushed the blame on either youtubers or instagram for making it so mainstream i mean i would know because i was one of those youtubers redditors the site you're using promotes this mainstream lazy content effect you can say redditors have a god complex you can call redditors on funny. You can say they're hypocritical as shit and annoying as hell in real life. But the one thing they'll always be confident about and they'll always bring up is their ability to make original memes. As if that shit fucking matters at all. Well, I hate to break it to you, but your final wall of defense for why Redditors are great isn't true at all. I mean, come on, did you guys really think people that do this shit and put watermarks on their fucking memes like this actually make original jokes? Stop. <laughs> you 
You guys remember how I just talked about that irony thing, right? One of the first things they started milking was the doge meme. Every redditor will say it researched from reddit, but that's not true at all. Just like half of all memes, they all claim they come from reddit, when in reality they all come from this one website that doesn't get any recognition because it's so small. And the only reason I'm not gonna give it recognition is because I know if more people find out about it, it's just gonna get ruined like every part of the internet. It happened with reddit, because once upon a time it wasn't the karma milking fuckfest it is now. But reddit claims legit every single original creation it makes, then claims they made it because reddit's more popular than the other place. I mean, come on, could you really put it past the group that does this petty shit? And then redditors act condescending to other social media users saying, oh, we create all the memes, you guys don't. When in reality, they take them all from this one place. It's like the one thing you guys all have an ego about. It's all a fib, fake, not yours. You didn't create anything. None of this should be surprising though. I mean, when 99% of their jokes are just rehashed jokes from a few months ago, you honestly shouldn't expect anything original from them. If you know, you know. It's funny because Reddit also loves to make fun of 4chan for having a bunch of simps and incels when all these people are exactly the fucking same. You nerd band room kids, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, those animals are so fucking funny! To conclude, Redditors think they're smarter than everyone, they think they're funnier than everyone when all their jokes are the same, they claim everything that isn't their own to be their own, they're weirdos in real life because they'll say F when their mom dies, or they'll say R slash woosh in real life. When you call them out for being annoying or excessively irritating, they'll say stop ruining their fun, when in reality they're just annoying a lot of people, they circle jerk basic opinions, or anything for that matter, and act better than everyone else when 9 times out of 10 they have nothing to show for it. I wanna reiterate again and say not every redditor is like this. If you can contradict what I'm saying, good, because that actually gives me hope for the future. But the reddit hate bandwagon can also be pretty annoying. Like, I know people after this video are just gonna sheep everything I say, just like a redditor. Fuck you. But I feel redditors deserve it to an extent because of the massive ego they have, which they definitely do not deserve. But let's end this video on a high note and just say there are some good things about reddit. There are good communities. Not every person is like this. And you can meet some pretty cool people. It's just most of them I found, at least for me. Not the case. I know shitting on redditors has become more of a trend as of recent, but I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time because this personally has annoyed me for a very long time. I'm just not very motivated, could you tell? Also, Sony Vegas will not stop crashing if a video is over 5 minutes long. So yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed and actually listened to what I had to say, instead of just assuming things. But you know, come to think of it, there's one more thing I need to do. I've had enough of you. There's what you forget, you bitch! Suck my fucking dick, you are not funny! Not funny! Not funny. Fuck this site.